Alrighty you guys, welcome back to another video. Emma made a nice big old sign. We talked about that in yesterday's video. Uh, a little better than the sign that we had done with the Piala uh, Fairgrounds last year. The last year, yeah, with the esteem. Yeah, that did not hold up, but uh, we're trying things. Today, we're at the Monroe Fairgrounds, Evergreen State Fairgrounds. We're going to an RV show. Now we've, uh, from what we've seen, as much inventory um, as the last time we were here, which is kind of ironic given that there's a ton of inventory sitting on lots. So we'll see if we can figure out why in the world that is. Yeah. A lot of white boxes out here. Hopefully we see some more uh, unique rigs. A lot of fifth wheels. I'm excited to see the Columbus. I think the Columbus fifth wheels are pretty neat. And hopefully the rain holds off just enough for us to get through this. It's still sprinkling right now, but boy, it's chilly out here. Yeah. <laughs> I think our plan of attack here is we'll have this be kind of a longer video here and then really unique or interesting rigs will probably break off and do their own individual tour videos I think is the way to go about it nobody's here lined up we are the first we're also out here 15 minutes before they open but... yeah I know last year and the year prior <laughs> there was a good line just getting in I think that interest rates are through the roof they're absolutely insane so I think that's impacting people's ability to buy. We know that we're going into a recession. Um, people have a lot of insecurities. And unless you're buying one to full time in, and you'll say, you know, whatever with your insane one million plus dollar mortgage, um, I think a lot of people are holding off because if you're just recreating, it doesn't kind of make sense to pay 20, 30% AP, <laughs> APR, right? But also, do you want to spend a ridiculous amount of money on something that's built like garbage? PDI does not mean anything. We know this. Yeah. We know this. Um, the quality has to be built in from the beginning. Every station, right? But that's just not the case. All right, we'll follow the fluffy dog. So the parking lots did start filling up as soon as we got in line, which is great. We have a lot of followers. <laughs> Anyways, oh. Yes. First things first, I already see a motorhome we'd have to tour. Go yes. Bowie. All right, lots of stick and tin units and we'll try to avoid the copyright music. Oh, a couple campers here. Interesting. Let's start here. This is the uh, the Jayco Seneca XT. This is a uh, 32U, so we've seen this layout before. I won't do another tour, but I do like the topo map style paint job on this guy. Yeah, I like the green. Yeah, that's nice. Interesting, they put these right where you can access them from the outside. I like those controls. The brown, the dark brown leather seats with the uh, with the gray here, very interesting. All right, that's pretty familiar. Yep, and then this one's 239.995. They were asking $340,000 for this originally, and that is absolutely insane. Nice pantry and Big fridge, very familiar. I don't like that to flip up the bed. I don't like that. Um, Lots of storage in this, actually. There's a decent amount of storage, yeah. And then, oh, oh, what is that? A really crappy fan. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the skylight above the, the shower. And I think I pointed this out before. They did an excellent job with the uh, colors here, I think. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, this is not great. Uh, but let's check the cargo carrying capacity and see if this was uh, more than the last one we toured. Which, what do we got here? 1,157 pounds, so I'm gonna guess this is on the 550? Yep, it's on the 550. If you're wondering, not an acceptable uh, cargo carrying capacity. Not at all. We're looking at a Jayco, another Jayco here. The 24NP Melbourne. Yeah, 24NP. A little less uh, storage on the outside here. We'll go in here, ah, wait, wait, wait. Being on the Mercedes chassis, 1,236 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. So still, in my opinion, still, in my opinion, not really an acceptable range, but a little more than that uh, 550. This, okay, let's go back first. What is this? Interesting design here. So you got a Murphy bed that comes down, but look at that beautiful window, Jayco. Interesting design. Very interesting design here. Oh, curved door. Okay. Very, very nice comparatively. 
And what is the storage over here? No, a shower. Oh, oh here, open that all the way up. Oh, that is, that is unique. All right, we got a small fridge, microwave, pretty good. Oh, sorry. No, you're <laughs> sorry good. And then your Mercedes cockpit. Um, hmm. I will say though, um, I'm sitting up here. Now we talked about this. I'm sitting up here in line of sight. It's out here. All my controls are really low. I don't like this kind of personally. Um, and uh, the, the steering wheel is very comfortable. It's really good visibility out here, but all of my controls are really down low. I'm not a fan. And the, uh, I think you get like 188 horsepower with a diesel engine, uh, but very, very, very expensive to repair. And imagine sitting here and not someone not latching this table all the way correctly and it plopping on your head while you're driving. Oh no, no good. But I do like that window up there. Very nice. All right, now you guys know I love the more extreme RVs, really big or really small. And for a class C, this is pretty small. This is the Jayco Redhawk SE. So kind of a lower trim, 22C. We've got these twisty doors out here and uh, everybody feels a certain way about these twisty doors. Not a lot of storage, but at least they gave that to you. Make sure that you swap these guys out. That is something, but we've seen these Jaycos. You know and love them. This guy, I don't believe, has a slide. No slide, so honestly, that's not too bad. Odd placement of this step, by the way. Like, why <laughs> is so far over? But as we come in, okay, no front window. Sure, but we've got the E450 chassis. We've got a little cutout so your seat can come back. Big window, huge window here. We've got a corduroy bed sheets. You know, a little darker in here, but with the windows, it's huge. No fan up there. Why? I hope it's pre-wired. Come into this bathroom. What are we going to see? <laughs> Am I in the shower? <laughs> I do like these little uh, rolling... I do think this material will rip eventually, though, and it'll be hard to replace. Yeah, but... or you could use a shower curtain, I suppose. And I wish it locked back in. Oh, it does. I like these valances. Those are kind of nice. And a crappy fan. Not acceptable. Not acceptable. I do like this in the magnetic, like it like holds it in place magnetically. Oh, that's kind of nice. Yeah. We got a little Norcold fridge. All right. We've seen that. Good size for this unit, I think. But uh, now we're looking at under $100,000 on sale. That's, that's okay. That's okay. I think. And then they also have a 24RP, uh, 144. Dual basin sink. Why not just one big sink? I don't know. But if you're comparing this to some of the Thor products, I would say this is a little step above Thor, a little more clean. There's one more redeeming quality to this. While you don't have a lot of storage in this unit, you do have the cargo carrying capacity, which is 4,063 pounds. That's nice. That is really, really nice. I would definitely say it's worth a look, uh, although we're missing one of our beauty covers here. <laughs> yes, 22C. Now, they do have a couple of these uh, Class A motorhomes from Jayco. They have the Integra series, and then, of course, Jayco has the one motorhome. I want to pass it because there's nothing in here um, that is particularly interesting, right? So you do get the fiberglass bays. This is a 27A. Pretty open layout, but you can definitely feel that Jayco quality, honestly. A very in interesting uh, interior, similar to the Integra products. And the cargo carrying capacity on this is 2287, so... The thing I don't like about this is the Chevy headlights. There's something about that. This, this, the Chevy Silver Dough. Not a, not a big fan. Of the, they added some chrome, it looks like, this year. I don't know. Not for me. Not for me. Maybe for you. But look at this paint job on the Mercedes. It never has made sense to me that Mercedes could not be bothered, unless this is an aftermarket upfitter thing, but I don't think so. They couldn't be bothered to paint that. I, I don't know. Why would that cost that much extra, right? You're already in here painting it. But, uh, I like the blue personally. Yeah, this thing seventy five thousand dollars off. Seventy five. What is the? Uh, what are they charging for? One fifty nine nine ninety five. One fifty nine. Originally two thirty three. Woof. Okay. Well, you do have a bathroom in here. What model is this? Terrain nineteen Y. It's definitely a shorter box overall. Hmm, okay, well you have a little bit of space for your head and all that and then some storage under here for your bikes if you so choose. Um, does it lift? Oh yeah, it does lift. It's heavy though. Whew, what is uh, that? What storage do we have here? A little storage. Oh, I would love to see this. This level of quality 
in a, in a class A or a class C. These seats, you wouldn't think it, but they're pretty comfortable. Yeah. And you're sitting up high, so really good for touring. Although your windows are so low, you know, naturally. Interesting curvature here. I think Jayco did a pretty nice job with this. I hate, I hate that, but did a pretty nice job with this. Not a lot of storage, but we have done more with less. So, ah, yeah, I mean, if that's your, if that's your vibe, what, 150? 160? 160, yep. Very cool. Now, this is an interesting unit. This is a sports coach, right? This is one of, this is actually a diesel. So by Coachman. Coachman Sports Coach 354. Now they're asking 236, 342 for this. We've got slam latch doors. It's kind of a nice thing. You got a uh, dualies in the rear. This is on a uh, Cummins i6 340XCS um, Freightliner chassis. I do wonder though, I know a lot of folks talk about uh, access to the rear engine. We don't own a diesel, so we're not too, you know, too familiar with that. But I wonder how difficult this would be to, to access as well, right? But just getting served. We've got a big old slide here. I do wonder, right? We're lo always looking at places that they cut corners. Uh, it's, uh, it's interesting, right? Schwintech slide. That's interesting. Let's go inside. Got a nice awning back here. 354 QS. All right, and no shock on the, oh, I guess there's a shock down there. I where I would have put it myself. I like the light floors in here. Got a really nice, but simple front, uh, front center here. Very simple, actually. You know, I don't know. When, I, when, I, when I'm looking at a diesel, am I looking at something maybe a little more complicated, more buttons? I like buttons, personally, but maybe not. Got a, some overhead cabinetry, and the first thing I notice, this bugs me, is uh, they're not aligned. I don't know if that ever bugs you guys really does bug me and we see that all throughout right that's not just distortion on the camera i do have it on wide angle so that we can see a lot more the other thing that's bothering me is that the layout the sconce the lights not actually aligned with the cabinet and the tape like nothing centered <laughs> together we're looking at you know a bigger gap here and as we come down very crooked very crooked. <laughs> but uh the idea is there right we got roller shades with day nights i, I do, like this yeah i do like that they use this i wish they would have matched the faucet but i do like the darker darker gray stuff. i agree i do like the backsplash as well i do like that too yeah right, we are talking about like quality control things right and if it looks like this brand new what is it going to look like you know a, a couple minutes down the road uh, little things little tiny things that yeah can they be corrected sure but but why did these happen? Well, it probably happened while I was going down the road, you know. Oh, but hey, first good Dometic fan. That's something. No rain cover built in, but. You have a center bathroom, which is not bad at all. What I would have. basin. Yeah, I would not have put a double sink here. I would have done one sink <laughs> and then this extra counter space for like makeup, yeah. hair straighteners, things like that. Yeah. Um, Fiberglass, full surround, and a skylight, but there's a crappy fan. <laughs> what is going on with that? And hit those, uh, hit those lights right there. That's kind of a weird, huh? It's kind of a weird thing, right? I don't know. I don't know, but you do have puck lights in there, which is something. Big old residential fridge. Um, just a bit, a little bit smaller than ours. Probably those are like makeup vanity lights in there. This is an odd space. I feel like this wasn't well used. I feel like had they not had two separate slides on this, maybe to save money, right? But uh, the, this would have been much more usable space. Could have been also, a bigger pantry. I also really don't like that your whole kitchen is on a slide. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I I like that they've at least rounded and finished off the wood a little bit, but there's no like actual finish. Moisture hits that. It's it's done for. Oh, it's soft clothes though. Okay. Um, I you know even though they're using lighter weight, cheaper materials, um, I like the colors personally. If this is a bedroom, it's darker. It does just get you into a diesel also. If like you're really wanting a diesel, this is a good entry level. Personally, I know that a lot of you guys have commented and you said, I don't want to deal with Ford, which I completely understand personally. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's also a price increase and going with diesel doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get a better unit by any means. This is kind of evidence of that, I think. Uh, yeah. But also, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I was expecting to see washer dryers, uh, but it doesn't even look like there's hookups, but they have, I think it's up over here. Um, louvered. Oh, louvered cabinetry here. That's interesting. And every time you open this cabinet, this falls open. That's fun. That's, that is definitely different. Look at these short drawers. Short drawers there. I would have rather had this on the slide myself. And that's your access to your, uh, the top of your engine. I hate that. I, I hate, I hate that. I think with class A's though, it's just not a lot of winning 
my uh, and personally like it's you really have to spend some money to get a real nice unit yeah um but hey if you really need that that diesel you know if we're looking at this guy we're looking at some quality uh, oh i don't know i don't know it is a drop down bed um yeah i don't know not <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> shout out to matt's rv reviews <laughs> okay also this is a very sharp point it's nice to have the drawer there, but uh, the sharp point here, it's terrible. Hurts my fingers, actually. Let's look at the uh, our neighbor here. You know how I feel about the Thor Vegas. I've shared my opinions, but this is a brand new 2023. Brand new 23. This is the 24.3. This is that kind of, uh, they call it an SUV? Basically, the SUV of the RV world. Uh, kind of interesting. Not a lot of storage on the bottom twisties, and you'll notice this is not distortion. Uh, the body curves here, which is, is very unique. Uh, this is a face only uh, a manufacturer could love. I'm just kidding. Some of you guys love these. Don't give me hate. 24.3. Let's go inside. Ooh. Okay, it's not the same layout. Not the same layout. And a little bit brighter in here. Ooh. I really like the creamy color cabinets they picked with the black hardware everywhere. Yeah. And hey, they upgraded the fan. That's a nice touch. Uh, if you like these types of beds, that, there's that. Um, yeah, that kind of cream, lighter. I'd rather have a light gray or a white myself, but... They were very consistent all the way through, though, which I appreciate. Right. Like, they're, they're working hard to make these something that people people really want. That's, yeah, that's kind of interesting. They added a little razzle-dazzle right there. Very interesting. Huh. Okay, well, you know, they give you a cheapo surround here, but at least they did a nice job caulking this one all the way around, it looks like. Um, except for right here, they missed a the spot. Uh, easy to touch up, but they also give you a shower miser. I love the shower miser. I'm gonna have to install one in ours. So where it matters the most, they give you a crappy fan. And they put a second one right here in the kitchen, right next to it. Come on, that's so jeez. I will say I don't love the closet in the kitchen, but I will say they gave you a spot in the closet where everything goes. So like all of your extra tables, your legs, your ladders, it all has a home and it all latches up to the wall so it's secure. Yeah, decent. Uh... And it's a very deep closet, so you still have room for your clothes in there too. And what is this gap here? What, why would there be a gap there? Isn't that weird? This is intentional. It's like a knock, like a kick out panel, I don't, I don't know. Uh, fridge, fridge is fridgy. Looks like a 110 fridge and freezer. Good freezer space for the size. Did you say the fridge is frigid? Fridge, ew, ew, don't do that. <laughs> oh, oh, they add a little extra right here and I hate it. Oh no, it's like a, oh no. But here's the, here's the thing. Okay, so you got the new dash here. Okay, lots of storage for your knickknacks, etc. cetera. Uh, that's fine. I like this material that they're using so that the buttons don't feel flimsy. This is kind of a soft touch if you look at that hard here. And you got to remember, I talked about this. This actually angered me because it felt like a, like a, milk carton here is it more durable you know it's it's not necessarily more like a you know actually that's no, a little better it definitely is a little better i think that they uh yeah you can actually see the thickness of this it's definitely a little more than what they had before um that's that's a little nicer i will i'll give them that and i think that the the thicker plastic comes up enough but look at the blind spots on this bad boy I don't know. Can you learn to drive with it? Absolutely, but it's uh, not my preference, guys. I do like that they gave you the two-person dinette, but I like better that they gave you the <laughs> option to put the table in the floor right there in front of the couch. Yeah. I don't think you need both, but I understand why both are here, because if you have the bed down, you still have a table. Right. But... And I appreciate that they, they made it work here. They definitely made it work here. Yeah. Without putting a second slide in. This is not the worst. Once you're inside and you don't see the nose of it, it's not it's not that bad actually. Here's the thing. Lower price point, right? Absolutely. That's good. They're they're doing more with the E450 strip chassis. I think that's a good thing. It's a little low for my taste, but uh it's a simpler unit. It gets you into class A at a lower price and uh it's simpler. And if we're looking at the cargo carrying capacity rate, we're looking at 3129. I think that's pretty dang good, especially if you're full timing with it. What I would, yeah, I, I think if they redesign that front end, personally, it's freaking hideous. Um, I think if they just a little bit of work on that front end, I'd, honestly, it wouldn't be nearly as bad. No, but they've come a long way since 2019, that's for sure. Oh, this looks nice. It's the Hampton. I'm pretty sure this is a Forest River product. 
the Hampton, we got a sliding glass door. This is the 364 MBL. MBL, all right. Ooh, I like this Cross idea, actually. Okay, if we look, oh, wow. This is different than what we've seen before. Let's look at this layout. Okay, so you got a front. Oh, I love the windows in the bedroom. That's really nice. Full closet. Yeah. And I like the, you know, I like this dark, oh, it's actually a decently thick door. That's pretty good. I like this. It's yeah. actually surprisingly warm in here compared to outside. I don't know why that is, because uh, that's interesting. It's also pretty good well insulated. Oh, got a little, take a sharpie to that probably. Um, yeah, you know what? It's all over there. It really borders it, so. That's something I don't like to see, but I like the shower. Really good shower here with a window. That's important. And they put a good fan in here. Try not to pan too quickly. Is that a porcelain throne? Sure is. Don't like the heat registers down there, but I also understand it because of plumbing. Dang, this is a nice kind of a fifth wheel esque, but nice layout. Pretty decently open. Interesting. That's actually not. Hmm, that's interesting. It's like spray painted <laughs> wood, I guess. Uh, interesting backsplash. This kind of looks different. Definitely different. This looks dirty. They're doing that intentionally, but it looks dirty. Uh, yeah, you know, and we're looking at the cabinetry. It's definitely, it's definitely lighter weight, but easy enough to touch up, which I can appreciate because you're going to need to. Um, the hinges are pretty okay on this, actually. I like the backsplash they chose. It kind of looks phallic to me. I don't know. Oh, this is the same Samsung uh, fridge that we have, I think. Ours is only a little bit different. Okay. Um, big single basin sink. That's a huge win, I think. Um, what is up there? That's a huge double lock. Oh, yeah, that is a big. I like the windows. Really good windows in there. Wow. What's over here? Just another part of that loft? Just part of that loft still. Wow, okay. I like that. And what do we got here? A little storage. A little sto yeah, some storage here. Very good. And then this is a whole other bunk room. Oh, yeah, so a little step down here. You've got a drop down bed here or sofa like that. And then you have a bed here. Yeah, I wonder, this must be an outdoor piece. Uh, is this a window? Yeah. Sure is. Oh, that's, that's a shame to cover up, isn't it? I like the window. And some storage here. Let's see what's on that outside bit, because they're taking a lot of interior storage. This is a Hampton. Oh yeah, I thought so. I thought it. Okay, are you locked? Oh no, not even locked. Okay, good. All right, so you got a fridge, microwave, grill, everything but a sink. I think the sink would have made it. Oh, I don't like the flip down business here, but lots of storage in there. I'd probably knock that out and, and uh, Ooh, you know, I really like this rig. I really like it. So Paul's Bow RV has this guy, retail is 111, 82904 for a very spacious home. Very spacious home. I really, uh, that's definitely something to think about. You won't be boondocking the way that we do, but if you uh, have a bit of land or, you know, a place to stay, something to consider, guys. Holy cow, that's a big rig. That is a, a cyclone. Ah, uh, let's see. It's, Cyclone 4007. You got two doors, so you obviously have a fun door back here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh man, this is where the whole thing smacks. Ooh, nice and warm in here though. That thing, it keeps going, doesn't it? Look at this range. Holy cow, that's a big range. A little wobbly though, but it's a nice big, I like the backsplash here. Let's put a little window, that's nice. Huge bedroom, what the heck? Whoa, washer dryer? Ooh. Don't like that. So, uh, big space, little quality. <laughs> little little, little uh, fireplace here, but no, t uh, the TV's kind of offset. Okay, so you do get a TV in here. A porcelain throne on this rig. Uh, I like the surrounding here. Oh. But I don't like plastic there. And a crappy fan. I don't like that. All right, but what's that? Uh... Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Big storage back there. And a drop down deck. 
That's kind of interesting. Very interesting. But compare that with the Geo Pro by Rockwood. And this is a Murphy bed unit. Kind of cool. You can see how that works. And they give you a, a little window up here. That's nice. Okay. A little dinette here. Big. Big oven for uh, for a little guy like this. Uh, we never used our oven, guys. It's kind of uh, interesting. Do you guys use your oven? A lot of folks like the air fryer, which I completely understand. A little ever chill. All right. You guys know I like these. Kind of a cheapo surround in here, but how much do you really need if you keep it cold? I like the skylight though. Nice fan with an integrated cover, it looks like. Really can appreciate that. Somebody was curious if we, you know, what we look for in a rig that we want to full time in. And honestly, we can full time in just about anything. Yeah. I think people overestimate what they need. Personally, I'm always looking for bigger tanks, fresh water tank. Um, if you're buying a class C, look for that ground clearance. And how much, you know, it's kind of touch and say, I, I would say like this, for example, not quite enough. Um, not quite enough here, but you know, teach their own. We have bottomed out quite a bit. Um, this guy has a shorter overhang, though. You might be a little less likely to scrape that, you know, leveling out from a hill. Now we got these entradas here. So these are uh, these are very interesting. This one, you know, I like that they build with uh, the the Asdel. Oh, oh, there she goes. This is the 2900 DS. I like that these swivel around. Uh, it's kind of that typical forest river materials, uh, but huge TV. You've got a single basin sink, which is really nice. And instead of giving you an oven, you're probably not going to use it. Put the microwave down here. And it looks like this is also a convection oven, which I like. I believe this is a Furion. It's going to be a Furion system. There we go. There we go. Uh, it looks nice. I call this Everchill. So maybe it's not Furion, but I could have sworn it was. That's really decent. Okay, simple shower, simple shower. I think we've seen this layout in here before. I wish this window was a little larger. Very shallow slide. So this is actually something that you could easily full-time in. Personally, I could easily full-time in. Crappy fan, and you know, the, the fit and finish is just not, you know, it's one of those things that as long as you are mechanically inclined and you get a really good deal on the unit, um, you know, it's completely up to you, but plastic porcelain though they've learned that porcelain is the way to go when it comes to a toilet which is pretty common common sense very usable with the slides in which i like very usable the slides not too not too deep so uh depending on the price is there a price somewhere 500 dollars gift card and it looks like suggested retail 138 now personally i'm just i'm not a big fan of the east to west or most forest river products especially if they're price point units say what you will about Thor, right? And a lot of people do not like Thor. Uh, I think I like Coachman of Forest River just as little in terms of value proposition and things like that, right? I do like some of the style choices, design choices that they do make in the East to West though. Yeah, a lot of light, light, light. Uh, easy to decorate on your own, but uh, I don't know if you noticed, but a lot of these, for example, uh, this is going to be plastic and it's it's kind of a bump out sort of thing and they, they're shoved up in there. Uh, really helps conceal any inconsistencies in these panels. Um, no tape though, whereas the Forest River often is going to use that tape. One thing that I've never understood RVs having is a step up, like a tiny little step up in the middle. Like it's, you can, you can prevent this. You can design things better so that you don't have to have this because people will trip. Right. And if they were just to raise the floor all up, which I think this is all a cost cutting measure. Yes, you'll have less ceiling height, but you have more storage. Right now we're in the Thor 24F Chateau. Uh, MSRP is 143 on this. And you it, got a folding bed. It doesn't feel like I don't have enough headroom though. Right, right. I mean, at the end of the day, you're in an RV anyways, right? So it's going to be a small space. Uh, and, and raised toilets, I, and I, I get why they do it, because they have to route the plumbing a certain way so it comes down and over. I understand it. Just not a fan myself. I don't really, I don't know what the uh, cargo carrying capacity is because it's not in the common places on this guy. Uh, door, driver's door, passenger door, or a cabinetry but here's something kind of funny and these uh cloth seats not a huge fan myself easily cover them but this is a uh, what looks like a tracker um <laughs> that's a gps unit i believe um it, it does telematics they did not uh, shove that up properly 
<laughs> I, don't know. I don't know if it got ripped out or uh, what this crap is, but um, that's another thing to look for if you're buying used uh, or new. Yeah. Um, also, this. <laughs> why, guys? Why? I haven't found any rigs that they deserve their own dedicated review, but let's take a look at this Aria. Uh, we're going to cut this video here and pick up tomorrow. This is a Thor Aria 4000, so it's a diesel. Kind of interesting. Right, we don't do a lot of diesels here. Um, let's see what they're asking for. Let's see, MSRP is 438, $748. They're going for 300,000, right? So we saw that sport coach at 230, 240, 250. This seems a little bit heavier duty, right? Our, our cargo carrying capacity here is gonna be 5,800 pounds, 5,800 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. That's something, right? Now you're in a Thor. Something to something to know, right? Uh, so for three hundred thousand dollars, we would come on in, and yes, it's a little warmer. That's not just the camera, but these the stitching on these uh, these seats, very very nice. The dash, in my opinion, looks a lot nicer. Um, as we sit here, really pretty, really pretty good stuff here. Uh, funny enough, I think this is the same display uh, that we saw in that that sports one. Look at the simple simple change there right uh, I can actually access this little well it's not drawer but a little pop-out thing without cutting my fingers this is pretty nice right when we're talking Thor they don't have a good reputation and honestly for good reason but I will say this is a little bit nicer this freaking tiny net table is huge this would be nice to have two people working across though like like these starfish looking plates I wonder if you get the golden bug though when you buy a little it little beetle yeah this is not a pop-up TV though, that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, individual windows. The cabinetry, definitely a lot nicer than that sport coach. This is definitely nicer, right? Now we see they put some attention to detail here. Okay, that's something to know. Maybe they skimped a little bit elsewhere, right? So the material of this, it's a definitely a faux leather, but. The dinette seats are a little short. Are they a little short? They feel a little short. This is, a, yeah, this is pretty decent. This is pretty decent. I notice there's no storage here accessible from the outside. Um, yeah. But it is flip up so you can put stuff in there uh, as long as you can lift that cushion. Is this a pull out island? Nope. Just a, just an extra countertop. Oh, but I, I, it looks like you should be able to get underneath there too. I don't know. Oh, you push it backwards. Oh, that's weird. That's weird how they did that. Probably but, for like knives and stuff. But they gave it to you and I like that. An electric cooktop. Is that an induction only? Yes, induction, induction yes. only. Yeah, that's a fancy special stuff, right? But that's something to know. I like that uh, the whirlpool there. I don't feel ha know how usable this space would actually be unless you have like spice a spice rack up there. Plants, spices, coffee. Single or dual? Dual basin sink. But I like. I mean, I like this personally. I like this. Nice fan up there, and the uh, the kind of indirect lighting here. That's pretty nice. They know how often these are these break, so they give you a thousand dollar parts gift card with it. Jeez. A GE fridge, that's pretty good. Washer dryer built in. Again, a little bit more. I think that's a lot more myself. And then you have the pantry. I probably would have flipped these and I would have done the pantry with the kitchen stuff, and Absolutely. then and then the washer dryer. I completely agree. That's strange. So odd to pull out. And you have a door here. Okay. So your pantry, if the door is shut, isn't even in your kitchen. <laughs> if we have bunks, they're not lift upable bunks. They're not liftable, but they do have iPad uh, or tablet holders. Windows in each of them. Two drawers in this one. We have more drawers than ours. You have a shove in this. You do, oh, you do have a shove. Do have a shove, and it has a nicer fiberglass uh, and a big skylight in here. My, oh, the Japanese maple would love this. Okay. Okay, oh, and I like the indirect lighting down there. I think they did a really nice job with that at night. That's That comes in handy and really good fan in here. Oh, this door, it's hard to express, but this door feels good. But where this door I think feels really nice, this one does, does not, right? So you can see we're a little flimsy here. That's not a big deal, but because they use these crappy latches instead of just magnets, so one side will latch at the bottom and then the upside you have to kind of mess with it like that. I'm not a big fan of that. Small, small thing to change. We do have another sliding barn door here and one back there. And I really like that they are consistent with the barn doors. They don't keep mm -hmm. those awkward accordion doors things. Yes, yes. And as a matter of fact, uh, in the really nice Holiday Ramblers, the weakest part is this handle here. They, they do a weird thing where you got to hook with your fingers and it hurts your finger. They don't do that here, but 
one of the places that, again, I think they're skimping, and this is something that you could probably easily uh, overcome. They give you a nice trim up there. Okay, that looks good, the you know, quarter crown molding, whatever, but this all looks really cheap. Uh, personally, I think that looks really cheap, but you could potentially, you know, put some angled aluminum or something, I don't know, you could do something like that, right? Okay, lots of storage in this thing. This is not for lack of storage, and look at, I mean, this Emma's one, Crocs are just begging to be put in here. These, this looks weird, but this is actually a drawer that you can pull out when you have clothes hanging here, which makes a lot of sense. It does make a lot of Empty, sense. it looks a little weird though. They're Art Deco? <laughs> I'm not gonna copy that. Engine access in here, a little easier than uh, what we saw in the Sport Coach, which was pretty trash. Again, indirect floor lighting only. Uh, it's a very interesting toilet, but I like that if you're trying to get out of out of here you have access through here you have to climb up here i don't like that so much but this does look really well finished and we've got a good fan over here and the shower test a big shower huge shower shower miser big fan you guys know it i'm gonna keep screaming it this this is a ridiculous oh, oxygenics and shower miser Ooh, that's actually believe it or not that's very nice and this is the nicest shower thor has ever put into one of their rigs you have a big old shelf here for sitting, and you can still put your soaps and things behind me. We uh, also and, have this for soaps. Yeah, this is very nice. This is pretty nice, yeah. Honestly, personally, again, I'm not a big fan of the diesels myself. Uh, pretty DEF diesel, probably. But uh, would we have considered this one? Um, for three hundred thousand uh, dollars, you know. Maybe. I, I don't know how usable it is with the slides in. That's a, Yeah, it is a factor. Usability with the slides in, I think that's a number one thing if the unit has slides. But I gotta say, so when you're looking at a diesel, you're looking at Thor, people have issues with Thor, some people love their Thors. This is a Thor that I think, top of my list of Thors, but it's still a Thor product. So. All right, I think we should end this video here. We'll come back tomorrow with some more mini tours. <laughs> have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.